In a north side neighborhood affected by crime, we'll introduce you to one woman who's hoping face-to-face -face contact will change that. It's putting a face on the Blue Shield. Good evening, I'm Andy Choi. And I'm Jennifer Hoff. Madison's North Side has had a handful of high profile shootings and stabbings this year. So News 3's Theo Keefe met up with a North Side neighborhood officer to see how she's fighting that crime. Well, Jen and Andy, yeah, neighborhood officers are different than regular patrol cops. Department leaders put them in at risk communities to make a difference. One of those places is along Northport Drive on the North Side. Officer Katie Adler starts her day like most other cops. Coming to work, checking my email. But it doesn't last long. This is Packer Townhouse uh, apartment complex. The complex is one of a half dozen under Adler's watch. And one she patrols on her own two wheels. Her presence isn't always expected. So they caught the police? Did they what? Caught the police? Oh, no, 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 no one called the police. We just came here. You know, I like to walk around see you guys and stuff. There are nearly 600 apartment units on her beat, and it's rare to find someone she doesn't know. I don't think I've ever met you, though, before. What is your name? Arthur. Arthur, nice to meet you. I'm Officer Katie. Those she knows well follow her. I'm like the Pied Piper sometimes. That's okay, though. Even though Officer Katie doesn't have any kids of her own, she has plenty here. I love you. That love is for Marie Nofaji, whose connection with the cop comes over a shared passion. Marie wants to be a police officer. Their bond led to a job shadow. Some kids, or even other people, they have like a bad perspective on police officers, and like they do this and they do that, and all they care is about getting people in trouble, but she gives a perspective of like, not all of them are like that. While Officer Katie's met hundreds of kids, their adult actions don't always make her proud. They include the shooting on nearby Brentwood Parkway in May. I knew a lot of those guys and it was, I was disappointed. I went through like almost this whole uh, grieving process with that. She says she wears her heart on her sleeve. It's the only way she knows how. You know, when you put yourself out there and you have high expectations of people, it, it, and, it and they disappoint you, and you want so bad for them to do good for themselves. It really takes a toll on you, especially if you care. It's more frustrating because she can't touch everyone before her time is done next February. She only gets five years on any one neighborhood beat. But there are reasons to keep going. Should we walk? Even though there are plenty of ways to fight crime, she knows a gentle hand may be the best way. Well, I'll keep plugging along and see if I can make a difference. And if it's one person that I touch, that will, that will be, that'll make it for me. Now, a couple of the big problems in the area she knows well, she says, are young women afraid to leave bad relationships and kids without role models. As we were leaving Adler this afternoon, she told us her one hope is that someone about to make a bad decision will think, what would Officer Katie say to do in that very situation? It's so amazing, and uh, the community is lucky to have someone right. like Officer Katie there. You could just see the connection with her children. Mm -hmm.